Don't do that. Hello, Dean. Cares. We've talked about this. Personal space. Are you sure about that? Hey. I feel a little left out over there. Let's get over. I said to come alone. These are my friends. My friends who don't listen very well. Why? Go ask him. He was your boyfriend first. Any old how, your boy toy and I are rolling our way towards your top secret domicile. Ooh. Running errands all over the US, burning through that rather finite supply of grace, all in a desperate effort to save your boyfriend. You don't look good. <clears throat> you look terrible. Yeah, well, you're not my type either. I'm fine. Well, you on the other hand, you... <clears throat> Looking good. So, am I your back? Mandy, question for you. My shy but devastatingly handsome friend here. So what, I'm Thelma and you're Louise and we're just gonna hold hands and sail off this cliff together? What was that for? Mm. Our last night on Earth. All that. So odds are you're a dead man tomorrow? Yes. Wow. You're still my best line. Well, last night on Earth, what, uh... What are your plans? I just thought I'd sit here quietly. She loved me unconditionally. She forgave me. She only asked for one thing. To stop. Dean. Stop. And he was cute, and he knew the words to every Zeppelin song. So when he asked you for your number, you gave it to him, even though you knew your dad would be pissed. I just wanted to turn this. Obsessed with me. That isn't love. I loved you. I don't know what's real anymore. I'll tell you what we do know. Nothing about our lives is real. I know that was real. You asked, what about all of this is real? We are. The Cupid has gone rogue, and we have to stop him before he kills again. Naturally. <laughs> of course we do. I get the feeling something's going on. Does anyone get a little bit of a gay vibe? And I can, I can wear this. It looked like a spaceman. Look, just because you're obsessed with all that Wild West stuff, oh, not you have a fetish. Dude. Shut up, I like old movies. You can... Yeah, the one with the uh, guns and tuberculosis. I'm your Huckleberry. Yeah, exactly. Dr. Novak, meet, uh... Yes, I know. I know these gentlemen. Mr. Winchester and the other Mr. Winchester. Doctor. Doctor. You know, it's, uh, it's an intense relationship, and I do it that. They, they love each other, but it's purely sexual. They wrongly assumed Dean would be brave enough to withstand them. Uh, you know what, blow me, Case. Look, no way. 
Oh, cash, not for nothing, but the last person who looked at me like that, I got laid. Uh, why don't you uh, go keep an eye on Adam? I gave everything for you. And this is what you give to me. Why does it always got to be me that makes the call, huh? It's not like Cash lives in my ass. The dude's busy. Cash, get out of my ass. I was never in your... Righteous bone. We can call Castiel again. Dude, on my car. He showed up naked, covered in bees. Better? And they can button it, so why don't you unbutton it? Okay, that, that's, that's far enough, Tony Monero. Um... <laughs> What the hell are you thinking, huh? I'm sorry, did you just say that you lost to Winchester? Because one, that's interesting. And two, how is it that you lost Dina? I thought the two of you were joined at the, you know, everything. Now you wait, and we call on you when it's time. Excuse me, ladies, I think I need to confer with our fearless leader for a minute. Why not go get... It seemed to me like you'd actually found some peace. Hey, you once told me, you don't choose what you do, it chooses you. I'm a part of this. Like it or not. Castillo? Well, he's, uh, he's not here. You see, he has his weakness. He likes you. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, you have me confused with the other angel? You know, the one in the dirty trench coat who's in love with you? I don't care. And then, after a rousing speech, his true weakness is revealed. He's in love with humanity. Um, by humanity, you mean Dean? <laughs> Of all of you. It's pretty nice timing, Cass. We had an appointment. Don't ever change. Sorry, but I'd rather have you. Cursed or not. And anyway, nut up. All right, we're all cursed. I see my good luck to you. What? I don't want to make you uncomfortable. But I detect a note of forgiveness. <laughs> yeah, well, probably gonna die tomorrow, so. Well, I'll go with you. Can I ask the plan? You were quite the bounder. Did you tell anyone where your valuables were, Miss? Yeah, they might. So this is it. E.T. goes home. I have some beef jerky and a pack of menthols. What are you doing here? Gee, it's nice to see you too, Cass. It's Steve now, and... You surprised me. Well, the feeling is mutual. No, Dean, it's not. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Dean. What's honorable about a miniature bar in a motel room? Everything. How are you, Dean? I'm glad you're here, man. Dean. Yes? I'm sorry I wanted to be there, but we feared that Michael would sense my presence, so... Sam told me. Ain't no thing. The 
Demon Crowley is making a deal. Even as we speak, it's going down. Going down? Right. Okay, Huggy Bear, just don't lose him. I won't lose him. Morning, sunshine. Some coffee? No, thank you. I have to go. I spent all that time trying to get through to you. Dean calls once and now it's... Hello. Yes. So what, you, you like him better or something? Dean and I do share a more profound bond. I wasn't gonna mention it. I think you and I need to have a nice long chat. Cass? How do I start looking for this, Castio? I got one word for you. Winchester. What are they doing? Um, kids these days call it hugging. Although we do explore the nature of Destiel in Act Two. Sorry, what? Oh, it's just subtext. But then again, you know, you can't spell subtext without S-E-X. If there is one thing I've learned in all my years on the road, it's when somebody's pining for somebody else. Oh, don't try and hide it now. Shouldn't it be Destiel? Really? That's your issue with this? Castine? Shut your face. Get in the car. Go easy on Cass, okay? He's one of the good guys. Dude, if anybody else, I mean anybody, pulled that kind of crap, I would stab them in their neck on principle. Why should I give him a free pass? Because it's Cass. Remember me? I sure remember you, Clarence. Why are we working with these? Abominations. Keep talking dirty makes my meat suit all dewy. All right, send me down. We know we're corrupt and classy. <laughs> what? I like that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I would think that getting killed is something. <laughs> and having sex. <laughs> you had sex with April? Yeah, that would be where the hedonism comes in. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Any of that I... What was that? I learned that from the pizza man. Oh, I'm a yes. When you betray us, I'll be the one to carve out your heart. Oh, Cass. Such a flood. Yes. I think we're gonna be good friends too. All right, can we go? Jealousy. Oh, ain't he a little angel? We will find a better way. You mean we? Yes, dumbass, we. You wanna die? Was killed by Wyatt Earp himself. Not kidding. Johnny. Ringo, Billy the Kid, Doc Holliday, hey -o. This is awesome. You're in a good mood, huh? Yeah, and? Nothing. No, I, I, I just, uh, you've been having a rough go, so it's, it's good to see you smile. Well, I said I needed a big win. We got cast back. That's a pretty damn big win. Dean. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. I could go with you. No, no, no. No, I gotta do this alone. I don't think it will work for me. You hear what he's telling you, Dean? Your body is saying, Listen to me, you on dead blood junkie. I'm the one with the mojo, I'm the one with the plan. Cass! We're gonna shove your ass back through the eye of that needle if it kills all three of us. 
Obviously, I'm less than comfortable with that. And where's the pie? I think we're out. You don't understand. I need pie. I need you. I need you. You have to choose, Castiel. Us or them. Good. You and Sam have each other. It's time for me to move on. Now I'm begging you for once, look out for yourself. Until we figure out what the hell is going on, trust nobody. And do what? Just abandon them all? Damn it, Cass. You hearing yourself? There's a war on and it's on you. There's thousands of them out there. You said you lost your grace, right? That means you're human. That means you bleed and you eat and you sleep and all the things you never had to worry about before. I'm fine, Dean. Cass. 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 No. Hey. Yeah. Never do that again. All right. Okay. I'll do my best. Guys. Yes. Hey. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's okay. It's okay. He's a friend. All right. Hey, Gas. Dean. Hey. Okay. All right. Dean, you're alive. Yeah. What about the? Bomb in the darkness, what happened? I'll tell you everything. Yes! Yes? yes. Uh, hey! Uh, something's happened. Something. It's Angel Radio, there's so many voices. What are they saying? Is it. Is it true, Isham? I have a price on my head, and I've been trying to stay one step ahead of them to. to keep them away from you. Oh, that's right. To save Dean Winchester. Uh, that was your goal, right? I mean, you draped yourself in the flag of heaven, but ultimately, it was all about saving one human, right? And I won't let you sacrifice yourselves. You mean too much to me. To everything. He's with Ketch, so he's not alone. Because that makes it so much better. Uh, Cass, he wanted to go solo. And you let him? I... Dean. It's so good to hear from you. Oh, okay. Well, good. Do you want to talk about me now? I want to talk about anything that's not a demon sticking needles into my brother's brain. Yeah, humor me, man. How you doing? So you're saying we're both a couple of dumbasses? I prefer the word trusting. Less dumb, less ass. Guess, uh, can we talk? Of course. Dean, you know I always appreciate our talks. Our time together. The Reaper you back. Yeah, and you stabbed. Yeah. She was hot. So hot. And very nice. Mm. Up to the point she started torturing me. Yeah, well, every hookup's perfect. All right, I'm gonna get us another round. Item, item, all right, no, no, I. Item, item. I don't know. I mean, it's, you know, it's, there's things, there's uh, people, feelings that I, I, I want to experience differently than I have before. Or maybe even for the first time. 